By the autumn of 1981, Danny Limor was deep into the transformation of the abandoned Arus Holiday Resort into the Israeli intelligence agency's undercover base. You know, you'd need to repair some things, but still, it was in, in pretty good shape. And now, I have the perfect cover. I needed to recruit a team. So he turned first to Israeli Special Forces operatives. In the early 1980s, retired Navy SEAL Ruby Viterbo was running a dive school in the resort town of Nueva on the Sinai Peninsula. He received an unexpected call. Danny approached me and he told me a funny story about uh, saving Jews from Africa. I never, ever participated in a clandestine operation. But we are not going to kill anyone. We are not going to plant any bombs. We are going actually to save people. So I had a good feeling about it. By the end of 1981, Viterbo was in the Sudan as a Mossad clandestine operative. Over the next few months, Limon recruited his team, men who would need to abandon their former lives and identities and take on entirely new ones. But he realized a resort staffed exclusively by men would arouse suspicion. Viterbo suggested Limor contact a former pupil from his Sinai dive school. When Mossad made their approach, Yola Reitman was leading a jet set lifestyle. I was working for El Al, the airline, which took me all over the world, of course. Um, so this was my life. And I was spending a lot of time in a lot. I was diving. I had a boat there, sailing a lot, having a great time. The identity I got was a German, uh, which was natural because my mother tongue is German. You know, it's like playing in a movie or something. You have to assume a role. You have to assume somebody else's personality identity. In 1982, Yola Reitman became a Mossad undercover agent and manager of Hotel Arus, Mossad's scuba dive resort. Yet behind the scenes, the resort was a fully functioning Mossad undercover unit with a daunting secret mission to undertake. We had, of course, our special radios to communicate with headquarters. All our uh, hiding places were ingenious, you know. There was a radio hidden in one of the oxygen tanks. I mean, imagine, you, you're in a movie. Wow, James Bond. That was like it. The Israeli Navy would anchor the Bat Galim in safe international waters off the Sudanese coast. Mossad's undercover agents, led by Danny Limor, would secretly transport thousands of Jews from the Sudanese refugee camps to the coast. Israeli Navy SEAL teams would transfer them from the shore to the vessel and on to Israel. Once the agents at the hotel received word that the Israeli warship had set sail for the rendezvous, they had just three days to initiate Operation Brothers and smuggle their Jewish brethren from the refugee camp to the Sudanese coast. <laughs> 